Welcome to Excel in a minute. Do you know a better way to present your data visually to analyze it better? In some cases, we want to easily spot trends and patterns in our data by visually highlighting important values that meet a certain rule. Fortunately, Excel has a feature that can help us with that. In this video, we will show you how to apply conditional formatting to your pivot table values. Before we proceed with the examples, let's introduce you to the types of conditional formatting you can use. The first is based on logical conditions. This applies the format to cells that satisfy a specified condition. The next option is based on statistical conditions. This applies the format to cells that meet a statistical condition in relation to other cells in the range. The next three options are apply bars. Color range or icons to cells depending on their value in relation to one another. And the new rule option allows you to specify custom rules. Let's have our first example with this pivot table. Here, we have a list of products as the rows group and under it are the years. We also have the sales representative as the columns, which are filtered to show only the sales from Alina Dillard. In this example, we want to highlight the top three items that were sold by a leaner. To do that, select any value. In the Home tab, click the Conditional Formatting option. Select the Top or Bottom Rules option, then click the Top 10 Items option. In the dialog box, you can choose the number of ranks to consider and the format you want to apply. As you can see, the format is automatically applied to the selected value only. To apply the conditional formatting to all the values, click the Formatting Options button. And for this example, the third option is best. Now, let's have another example. Here, we have a list of products as the rows, the sales representative as the columns, and the sales quantity as the values. In this example, we want to add a data bar that corresponds to the percentage of a value in relation to the highest value in the range. To do that, select a value. Then select a data bar format in the conditional formatting list of options. The format is automatically applied to the selected value. Again, use the formatting options button to select the range of cells included. For this example, we will still use the third option since we only want to format the values for each item sold by a sales representative. And if you want to edit the rules, just select the Manage Rules option. After that, select the applied rule you want to edit, then click the Edit Rule option. And from there, you can do the changes in the dialog box. And that's it. Indeed, Using a visual representation of values ranking and percentages will help you analyze your data even better, especially when working with pivot tables. Watch our other videos to learn more about pivot tables. Thank you for your time. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Excel in a minute. You may also check out the link below to download the presentation. We hope to see you in the next lesson.